Hello, my name is Margaret Foote. I'm from LA County Parks and Recreation, and this is Parks From Home. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make a cake, a heart cake, out of um, two, one is a round cake, and the other one is square. And we're gonna make it into this beautiful heart cake there. I'm gonna show you how. You're gonna get a square pan, which is uh, nine by nine. Put it in a diagonal, like so. Then you're gonna get, your, we'll push this over there for a second, a square one, and you're gonna get it, and you're gonna cut it right in half. Like so. We're gonna get this one, and we're gonna stick it right there for a second. Let's get rid of all these crumbs. We don't want crumbs on our board. Okay, you're gonna get your cake and you're gonna line it up like so and you're gonna chop it like that. Make it even, okay? Then you're gonna get your other one, put it so and you're gonna chop it make it even okay then turn your board around for it to fit the secret is to make sure your cakes are nice and cool that way you can touch them and they don't fall apart let's clean all this up okay let's put these out of the way Come back. Let's get our frosting. This is buttercream frosting that I made earlier. If you want to know how to make it, I do have another video from Parks From Home that shows how to make homemade frosting. Just look it up. So what you want to do is go on this side and you're going to glue it to the cake with the frosting. So you're going to get it like this and put tons of it in there because you want it to really stick. And remember, our cakes are nice and cool so they're not gonna fall apart. So you wanna get this and put it on there. And this is how you actually glue it. And stick it right on there. There you go. And you're going to do to the other side. Put it on there. Put tons of it on there. Make it nice. More frosting. Pick this one up. Put it on there. There you go, and glue it to this side. Put tons of it on there. Then you're gonna get the frosting and do the side of your cake. And just frost it. Get in, more is better. on there what you could get is a lazy Susan put it on there and then you have it where it turns and then put it right here oops Okay, and put it there, that's okay, this is what you call crumb coating, so you can 
put it in there and mix it, it's all right. And then you put it in the refrigerator to um, set for like a half an hour. And then you come back and you clean all this all up. So it's okay that it's a little crummy right now. Put it on there. Put it here. There you go. Okay. And put it to the side here. There you go. Here's more to get it right there. Put it right here. And last it. where I was having a little bit of problem, but that's okay. Put some more frosting on it. Here we go. Here we go. Oops. Fix that. There we go a little bit. There you go. That is good. I'm going to stick this in the fridge for a half an hour and I'll be back. Okay, we're back. The cake has been in the fridge for a uh, half an hour and now we're going to frost it with nice clean frosting with no flakes in it. So we're going to go on the side, put tons of it on the side right there. Let me move this where you can see. Right here. See how it goes on nice and clean. No crumbs. Put a little bit more here. And this is, get it in here like that. Put some more here. And we are just gonna clean this cake up nice and pretty. There you go. Put it on the side. That's okay. Oops, that's quite all right. And put it right here. Get that little shape. Put it here like that. Okay. Come this side here. Put it here. There we go. And these are our ends. Not too bad. A little bit more smooth right there. Put it in here like that. There we go. Okay. Put a little bit more frosting right there. Okay. Okay. This is what you call a cake comb. You can get this at Walmart, cake stores, and this makes it where you just go across. It just makes it a fancy edge. If you don't have one of these, you can actually use a comb and it will do the same thing on your edge. Okay, now we're gonna do the top. So we wanna get a more frosting, put it in the middle there, get it, and then just go to the edge. And this is, we're cleaning up the top of it. 
No cookies and cream cake now. If you like cookies and cream, you, I guess you can keep it. But we're making this Valentine's. So there we go. And put some more there. And there. Okay. There we go. What I like to do to really smooth it out is stick your spatula in water and just go over it and it just really makes it smooth. Your icing, see, makes it really, really smooth where we can kind of like decorate it a little bit. There you go. And this is how you make a heart cake out of a round cake and a square cake pan. There we go. Get this little tool that we had. Clean it up a little bit. There you go. Just to make it a little, little, what you call it. Get it off our board a little bit. Okay. Put it that way. Smooth it out a little bit. Okay, good job. Now get your spatula and just go over the edge. Make it nice and smooth. There you go. There you go, not too bad. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our um, pipe, piping tool right here and it's just a star tip and we're gonna go on the bottom and we're just gonna put a border. So just go. You could do whatever you want. Your cake, you do it any way you want to. You can go that way, or you can do dots if you like. Dots are okay too. You can do however you want to do it. Just put it right on the border on the bottom. Keep your pressure the same. That way your dots come out exactly the same way. Same size. Kind of like, don't want that dot there. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And just keep on putting dots. Keep it the same.
There we go, not too bad. And for the top, you can do the same thing. Just put dots all on top of the cake. And there you go. That's how you do a Valentine cake using two cake pans. Okay, my name is Margaret Foote and this is um, Valentine Cakes. And if you like our um, channel, please subscribe to Parks From Home and we'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.